Welcome to Shots and Chops. Taylor here. And I'm Chad. And this week we are doing the top 10 marathon men in the Royal Rumble. A marathon man. That is a person that's in the Royal Rumble for a long time, usually doesn't win it, and usually it's a shocker. Like, oh, I can't believe what's-his-face is still in the Royal Rumble for almost an hour long. Right. Typically this person would enter in at number one through five and go to the final four or so and then get thrown out. Um, and it usually helps them, like it gives them a big push, like, oh, I'm glad they're doing good. Sometimes it can happen to a young guy, or sometimes it can happen to an old guy, like in Bob Backlund, and I believe it was 1993, he was 50 years old, almost went the whole way, then finally got thrown out in the final four, I believe. Alright, so we'll get this list started then. Hey, we're both wearing black hats. Yes, we are. Number 10, I'm going with, and this is the only one I have that is my prediction to win the rumble but also come in early and it's going to be ruby riot oh uh not much to say here i don't know who she would face uh onto wrestlemania but obviously be huge for her i think she could go the distance and make it look good yeah she's a good worker yep mine is going to be chad gable for one reason we have the same initials c g no, I think Chad Gable would be... I know, I'm not even sure if he's in the Royal Rumble, to be honest with you, because he's a, he's a tag team champion, but I hope he is, because I know he can be one through five and go the distance and showcase a lot of the things that he can do. Um, he wouldn't win it. It wouldn't make sense for him to win it, but he could just be there and just kind of hold on, suplex people out of their boots for a good hour, and then finally get thrown out. Um... So if he does this, then maybe he can, him and Bobby Roode can finally drop the title to a real tag team, and then uh, maybe he can get a singles push. Yeah. And as uh, filming this right now, mm -hmm. I believe that for the Men's Rumble, only 20 have been uh, wow. announced. So there's 10 more. Um, I've seen Tatanka training. Oh, yeah? Did Tatanka? you see that? You know? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's in the gym. Oh, sweet. Yeah. So, uh, with a realistic one. Uh, and that is in Drew McIntyre. I don't want to see him win it. Um, just want him to be in the final three, two, um, come in. Probably number one I'd have him come in as. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, maybe Dolph could screw him over. Yeah, that'd be good. On his way out the And door. he'd be a marathon man that, like, took people out, too. Yeah. He could oh, take yeah. a lot of people out. He could, I would see him probably having the most eliminations, too. Yeah. My number seven is a guy that he's, I think he's almost on all my list, is Elias Sampson. Uh, and this is kind of a prediction. I think he will have a good Royal Rumble unless he gets screwed over by a heel. Um, and he could possibly win it, but I don't think so. I think he'll go in there. And he could come out early. I like to see him come out earlier, one or two. That way we can get, ladies and gentlemen, Elias Sampson. And he comes and plays the guitar and says something good and talks crap about other people. And then he's in the Rubble Rumble for a long time. I think he could um, thrive in that spot if given the chance. Number six is the man rumored to win it all. Um, not who I want to see win it, but that'd be Seth Rollins. Um, obviously, he can go and go and go. Uh, put him in at number five, maybe. Not first two, but five. And uh, run through the final two. Crowd's expecting it, and then... Whoever's gonna have, whoever's gonna win the rumble, dump them out. Yeah. So. All right, my number five. This is one I kind of broke the rules, but stick with me on it, okay? I went with Rey Mysterio number one and Almas number two. They've been having these crazy matches on SmackDown, going back and forth, back and forth, and tearing the house down. So let's put them one, and let's. And this might happen. Put them two into the Royal Rumble and have them go almost all the way to the end to have, and then maybe Rey Mysterio or Almas could win it. I don't see it happening, but they could definitely go the whole time. Yeah, and they could, they start somebody comes in, they throw them out, and then they go back at it again, and let's do that for a little while until, of course, the Rumble will build up. But one and two. Yep, yeah, I think that will get a good pop too. Yeah. Number four. Um, not announced to be in there, 
uh, speculated that he will be in there. That is uh, NXT Velveteen Velveteen Dream. Oh yeah. Um, easily could go. In, I put him in the top three entrance, and uh, it was not. I don't know much to do with him in it. Just have him. Everybody wants to see him. So that would get a huge pop. Oh yeah. I'm sure. Next one on the list is my first lady and only lady on the list. Spoiler alert. But it's going to be Nikki Cross. I think her coming in early in the Rumble, her crazy antics, her getting on the ropes, and just doing stuff will keep the crowd entertained throughout the Royal Rumble. She's a good worker under all that craziness. It's a great character. She just came up to Raw. She's on Raw? She just came up to Raw, and just to have her in the Royal Rumble would be entertaining. Out of all the, I looked through all the women, and I go, uh, and she was just the one that stuck out to me. So, Nikki Cross, Marathon Woman, number two. I uh, don't, I don't remember if he's been added into the Rumble yet or not. I know he's in a match later on on the card, but I'm going with Rusev, um, just to keep his momentum going as. The Bulgarian brute um, will be one of those believable guys or big stocky that could go and uh, also maybe maybe make the most eliminations. Is he gonna win? His? No. Oh, his... no, his U.S. title match. Yeah, double duty and do it. Yeah, I could see yeah. it. They used to do it back in the day all the time. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. they might. And so Cesaro and uh, Sheamus will probably be in it. Right, and I was gonna put Cesaro on my list, but I just I don't know. If, if, if they're going to do double duties or yeah. not. So. Well, this is my number one, and I'm confident about it. I tell you, and I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to change everybody's mind. This is going to be just like 12 Angry Men. My number one is Mustafa Ali. Just got called up to SmackDown. He's the underdog. Everybody loves him. He never got the title. Never got the 205 title, which is a little bit disappointing. So I think the WWE throw him a bone here. He could put on a good showing. He can even go off the top ropes. You go off my earlier thing. You have you have uh, Almas, Rey Mysterio, and Ali in there. They could do some great stuff. So I would get him. Maybe not even make the top four or final four, but have him be in there for at least good thirty to forty minutes uh, to put on a good show. Everybody loves him. He's probably the best baby face right now on SmackDown. Okay. Like True it. baby. I like it. It was a long video. <laughs> it was a long video. Worn out. <laughs> but, uh, let us know in the comments if you agree, who you want to see, go the distance, um, and to lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, who had the better list? Yeah. And remember, two feet must touch the ground. If you like that video, you can follow us on Facebook at Shots and Chop Wrestling. Remember to like, subscribe, and to chop that notification bell. Just realized I didn't finish my beer in this video. <laughs>